Hi, welcome to Movie Review with Daniel. And today I'll be doing a movie review on Krypton Season 1. Krypton Season 1, which was released two years ago. After rewatching this year, I started to do a review on it. There are some major might rewriting revelation about Superman's ascensory in Krypton. But since this is a time travel show, you kind of suspect you are going to be reset buttons galore. And the producers have confirmed it exists in an alternate reality to the comics and big screen DCU. So the fact that it's Superman's or that Carl S descended from a line of Brits probably won't send shock waves through fandom. Krypton was developed by David S. Goya, scriptwriter on the Dark Knight trilogy, Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice and Justice League. But in tune, it feels previous for real into TV Da Vinci's demons. Set in the Kryptonian city of Kandor around 200 years before the planet is due to blow up, the spotlight is on Superman and Supergirl's grandfather, Seg L, when he was a young man. As a child, he witnessed his grandfather executed for drawing to suggest that life existed on other planets and the house of L was stripped of all its rights and privileges. Fourteen years later, he is caught up in the political machination of scheming chief magistrate Darren Vex, who has plans to overthrow religious leader the voice of Ra. Meanwhile, Sek L is strictly dating like Tazod, daughter of the primus of the Kryptonian military guard, is being forced into an arranged marriage with Darren Vex's daughter, Nisa Vex. And just when you thought things couldn't get more convoluted, a guy from future Earth, Adam Strange, shows up telling Sergei that his grandson will be the universe's greatest hero, but that some super villain is planning to wipe him from history by changing the past. You have probably guessed from the torturous summary that Krypton's main plot is that it is overstuffed with plots. The time travel element offers the writer the chance to bring in another familiar character from Superman Meteorology later in this, this season, but you can't help feeling it is a constant too far. There's so much time travel on TV now that there's a tail whiff of similarity about the temporal dilemmas. The emphasis on time travel also gets in the way of world building. The show may be called, but we learn little about the world's culture or society beyond was strictly necessary for the story. Still, as a straightforward action adventure series, it's diverting enough fluff. Cameron Cuff brings an unexpected self depreciating wit to Seg L. Blake Ritson is superbly creepy as Big Dark Brainiac, and there are some good materials for the women eventually. The episodes lay on on the kickers babies stick it with an embarrassing lack of subtlety but as the series progresses Nissan and Lighter are allowed to be actual characters. Shuan Sipos never really gets a chance to flesh out Adam Strange beyond whining and irritating and practically vanishes from the series after his most intriguing moments. The production design and effects impress. If you can ignore a terrible pair of stereotypes in the Fortress of Solitude and an over-reliance on gloomy corridors and they are nose to some quite obscure corners of DC law that please fans without bamboozing casual views. Thanks for watching today's review. Please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button and leave your comments in the comments box below.